Hi everybody, I wanted to quickly show you how you upgrade the software on your sign scan hand controller. One of these. So this is your hand controller. Mine is a version 3 hand controller. So what you need to do first of all is go to the uh, Skywatcher website and go to support and then go to software and firmware. You need to download three things. One is the manual for the instructions so that you know what you're doing. The other one is the actual software updater, which is this one. And then you need to get the actual software that you want. So at the moment for version three, which is here, um, I'm wanting to get the 3.39.15. So that's the one we want. When you've downloaded all of those, you need to pop them into a folder. So create a folder on your system called size scan. So that's what I've done here and I've created my folder. So in the instructions, which are pretty good, it goes pretty much step by step through the entire process. Now there are actually um, a few bits of hardware that you need as well. Either the cable which your hand controller came with um, and then a USB to RS-232 converter or you can buy a cable which has the FTDI chip built into it, which is what this one does. So this one here has it all built in. So that's ready to go. So that can connect via USB. So I'll just plug this into my computer. So that's now plugged in and it's just setting up the device there. Okay, so uh, the next thing to do, looking at these instructions, is you actually have to power on your hand controller and at the same time press zero and eight. So you press and hold those and then you plug the power in. Now for this I'm using um, an adapter system which I made here. So you can see I've got the power plugged in there and uh, that's just 12 volts DC. So I'm going to plug that in to my hand controller whilst holding 0 and 8. So I'm going to just press those and then plug it in. And it's now in sign scan update mode, as you can see, and it says version 1.7. Now, the next step is to plug in your actual cable. But before I do that, I want to show you something really important. Right down at the very bottom of these instructions is a tiny little note that says you have to change the data rate by pressing the setup key. Now, this is important. If I press the setup key, it adds a little MI and then low. Now that is the data rate for the update. And what you want, you want it on low so that it can update. So you just scroll through from normal, medium to low and you must go on low, I found, to make this work properly. Now it can take a long time to update this, but um, that's the method that I found that works. So once we've that, done that, we go into the software updater, which is here. And I'm now going to plug in the hand controller as well. So I'm just going to plug that in to the base here. There we go. So that's now plugged in. And I'm now going to go to the firmware loader. And then I'm going to browse to this folder. And it's automatically found the software there. And I select it and click open. It's automatically detected the COM port that you can see here. So that's all good. And then you click update. So now it is currently updating and it should go all the way through to 100% with any luck. And it's doing it at a nice slow rate as we had told it to. Um, and then that will be the latest version on this hand controller. So we'll just wait and see what happens. The SignScan firmware loader has now been through its process. Now that took about 20 minutes on the low speed to update. And as it was counting through on the screen there, um, it basically counted from one all the way through to 100%. And when it got through to the 90s, the last sort of 10% went quite quickly. But it's really important that you put the speed to low on the hand controller so that the data transfer rate is manageable. And uh, otherwise, it will just fail the update. So it looks as though that update was successful. And we're now on the latest version of software on this hand controller. 
The other issue which you might encounter is drivers for your RS-232 cable. What you have to do is make sure you've downloaded the correct drivers for your particular cable and also you need to make sure that the correct COM port is selected. Now normally you would just click on the auto detect COM port and it will just find it. If it doesn't find the correct COM port you can type in manage here, go into computer management and then go into device manager and under your ports you'll be able to identify which one is connected to it and it tells me here that I've got um, my on my COM3 the FTDI on a USB serial converter so that's the uh, driver there and um, you just need to check that that's the correct COM port so this is COM port 3 that I can see there and you can see that from here COM port 1 USB serial port Thanks ever so much for watching. That's how you update your software on your SignScan controller. I've only got a version 3 controller, so I hope this is useful for those people who've got a version 3. But I would imagine the update process is fairly similar for the other types of SignScan controllers. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.